This pattern is, I call Love. I designed this in 2014 and it's Love and Family. So my family is here with the strong center trunk, the, the trunk, the center point, and then it's a big family. It's a busy family. Now, sometimes the tree, they would say, a long life and many sons, but we can't really say that anymore, many sons, <laughs> it'd be getting into trouble. But a long life and many, many sons are the family connection, the family tree. Uh, the ropes, I have the, I have the rope here, two separate ropes, and I had them together in the middle because I wanted to signify the couple uh, as individuals and as together. And the reason I put them here is because I put the zigzag I did do a, a, a triple zigzag, a double zigzag line is quite common. And this represents the ups and downs of marriage. So you have the relationship and its ups and downs. And in some places, the, the zigzag, they would refer to the rugged coastline um, and the landscape with the zigzag. And then I have what I call the rice stitch on the sides. Some countries this might be called a broken rib but when I saw the little sweater that was brought back by my aunt Christine what I called the Danny sweater um, two things jumped out at me that I hadn't seen this stitch for a long long time and I was amazed that we put it on the side of sweaters and that the moss stitch had taken over so much from it so I kind of brought it back and people really like it it's a very subtle but strong little stitch and it's really nice on both sides. The inside of it is really nice as well. Mm -hmm. It's got nice strength to it. Um, so I, I love this one. I have to say, it, it's a very gentle pattern. I hadn't even thought about the storytelling within the pattern before. Yeah, I think it's I think it's wonderful. And in terms of even just um, you have you have the personal story of. This is Donegal yarn. I have always loved this yarn, but for the greater part of my life, I couldn't use it. It was it's quite dense and coarse, and but it's that authenticity that's working in the iron, mm. you know. And I've always really believed in that yarn, and Chris Chris knows that he believes me now. At this stage, he <laughs> believes me. <laughs> this pattern here looks like sheaths of wheat to me. Yeah. It's lovely. You know, there is a stitch called sheaves of wheat, and I'm not sure. That's a very interesting one because we call that the link, the link stitch. Mm -hmm. And it was referred to as the link to people gone to foreign shores. So you can imagine this yeah. link cable. But literally, I was in the studio and talking to a hand knitter and she said, I don't know what stitch you mean. You know, and something I was going through, what we were going to make. Oh no, never heard of it. And I said, like, it's kind of simple. It's one over three. Don't know it. Ah, oh, you mean the fern. You know, you mean the fern. And then another oh, nutter would go, oh, you mean like the feather. Like a plant. Yeah, yeah, you mean right. the feather. And then someone else was like, only this year. Someone was in here on a totally different mission um, with someone else who was getting something for a wedding. And she said, look at the lovely orange knitting. There's the rabbit's ears that we used to make. And I was like, what? The stitch again? Yeah. So even within Donegal, the stitch had its um, loco connection. Right. Um, yeah, I do like that stitch. Um, you really drag one stitch over three to make it. And you keep a central stitch just as a knit stitch. Yeah, it it's really is. Uh, it, it's very, it's very beautiful, you know.